Regulus Quarterly Financial Astrology Forecast by William Stickevers. One of the reasons I'm optimistic is because we're seeing a transition where we go from America 2.0 to America 3.0. And that's because even though the index troughs and hits a bottom where we are right now, it begins to rise and it continues to increase well into 2043. So when we see the index rise, we see it correlate with what? Expansion, optimism, upward social mobility, libertine experimentation, creativity, boom periods for markets, diplomacy, military detente. The thing is, is we need to get through this period, right? We're still not quite out of it yet. We still need to get through that Saturn-Neptune alignment. But there's a reason I'm bringing this up, because even though we're in this really messy period, what I can say is that 2025 is coming faster than you think or you can think, meaning that the election is coming faster than you think, the recession is coming faster than you think, robotics and AI automation is coming faster than you think, generative AGI is coming faster than you think, liquidity being injected in the system is coming faster than you think, everything is going to happen faster than you think. The reason we could say that with certainty is because if we just calculate the time when the yield curve inverts to the time that we will likely hit a recession within 110 days, that date is January 24th, 2025. And what do we see here? A Sun-Pluto conjunction. This is very important because the other big thing happening in 2025 is the fact that Pluto will be in Aquarius and that ingress will take place on November 19th, 2024. And then Pluto will remain in Aquarius up until January 2043. That happens to be the year that the cyclic index will peak. So it continues. We trough, we hit the bottom, and we don't get out until we get through 2026. And then the index rises up. So that's the good news, right? So the thing is that Pluto will be in Aquarius for that entire time that the index begins its upward phase of the planetary cyclic index. And so that will define where the money, the technology, the focus, the interest, and the energy is going to go. So we'll look at that and we say, okay, we look at the period from 2009 to 2032 is what has been called the fourth industrial scientific revolution for the printing, self-driving autonomous vehicles, autonomous aerial vehicles, autonomous robotics, artificial intelligence, augmented virtual reality, additive manufacturing, nanotechnology, cryptocurrency, cloud computing, the internet of things, nuclear fusion, not fission, which is what we have today, but nuclear fusion vertical farming, quantum computing, hypersonic aviation, direct energy weapons, wireless power, where we already have that now, where like the new Tesla taxi, where you don't have to plug it into anything, right? You just park the car over where the electricity the, or the charges wirelessly sent to the car over some wireless power station. So we're going to see much more of that. Now, this list, by the way, was assembled in 2009. 2009 was the period when we saw the Saturn-Uranus alignment, and that alignment correlated with the period in 2009 where we saw the transition, where we left the third industrial revolution, which started in 1965 to 2008, to the fourth industrial scientific revolution. So let's get into it. So Pluto's in Aquarius. It's now here, starting in November. It will remain there until 2043. And it correlates with AI systems becoming human competitive at general task. So we're going to see true artificial intelligence begin to permeate every facet of our lives. So we're going to see a drastic shift. Now, we had Jupiter move into Aquarius earlier this year during the Jupiter-Uranus alignment, April 20th, 2024. We could see Pluto was in Aquarius, and then it went retrograde, went into Capricorn, and then it'll go back into Aquarius. But note here, during the Jupiter-Uranus alignment, we had Pluto in Aquarius. And what do we see? Jupiter-Uranus has to do with technology, game-changing breakthroughs in various technological fields. And if you just go back to every Jupiter-Uranus alignment, and its impact on the markets. We saw, if you just go back to 2011, the European sovereign debt crisis unfolded, but we also saw what? The rise of Tesla, the rise of Netflix, right? We saw the iPad. We saw a number of inventions all come out of that period. 
And in 2024, Magnificent 7 AI tech stocks leading bullish momentum with inflation exceeding expectations. But more importantly, we see major breakthroughs, right? The rise of the internet in 1997, the rise of social media and wireless and smartphones all in 2011. And if you just go back, you can see these periods, 14-year technological seeding periods. But this one in particular is different because Pluto transitioned into Aquarius, and that correlates with what? Definitely 2024 was the rise of AI, artificial intelligence. So artificial general intelligence is now being addressed. There are five levels of AGI, and basically AGI is the ability of any intelligent machine or agent or system to understand or learn any intellectual task that human beings or other animals can. So we've seen that come out very clearly with GPT-4. March 14, 2023, we saw conversational AI emerge. Then we saw the prediction chat GPT-5 coming in 2024 in March of 2023, right? That will be hitting the next level of AGI. And we saw that achieved where chat GPT-5 was renamed chat GPT-4-0, which is called a reasoner. So instead of conversational AI, now we have reasoner AI. So reasoners, this level signifies AI systems that can solve complex problems at a level comparable to humans with doctoral level education. They can achieve this without relying on external sources, demonstrating a deeper understanding of reasoning capability. One example is OpenAI's zero one reasoning model, which you can get access to using ChatGPT for zero, or they're calling it zero one, which completed a PhD student thesis work, something which took this student two years and did it in just four minutes. Right. So we have Deep Minds, AlphaFold also demonstrated level two reasoning capability. So that level two of AGI has been achieved. Now what's coming out in 2025 is we have the reasoners, now we have the agents. The third level of five levels of AGI is agents. So agents are AI systems that can act autonomously on behalf of users for extended periods. They can perform tasks, make decisions, adapt to changing circumstances without human oversight. So, you know, a great example where a large language model, which can demonstrate reasoning capability similar to the human brain, you can then assign that agent, for instance, you could say, okay, I want you to do X, Y, and Z. I want you to develop plans. I want you to execute these steps, step by step. So they can execute it at the level of someone you're training who has a PhD level understanding, and they would have a specific domain expertise or general purpose capabilities. And this will revolutionize small businesses. This will revolutionize various fields, including project management, customer service, operational workflows, et cetera. So people are going to be buying agents. You'll just get a license for several agents or one agent and basically do the work of a team of people you would normally hire. So that is coming early 2025. We got confirmation from Mumbai and AI. They already have the agents, but they're just tweaking them now. And this is all connected to the law of accelerating returns, meaning that now we've achieved where we're moving towards the singularity, which is in 2045, or according to the astrology, 2043. So this event of singularity where we'll see machine intelligence surpassing brain power equivalent to that of all the human brains in the world combined. And what we've achieved now is the brain power with the reasoners, where it surpasses the brain power of the average human. The average human has an IQ between 100 and 105. So the IQ of ChatGPT for zero is 166, and 2045 would be a 16,000 or 160,000 IQ in 2045. So we're already there. And that's why we have to start thinking in terms of our investing from a exponential pace of change. So basically, everybody invests and thinks in linear terms. And what we need to think is in exponential terms right? This is where, you know, I'm disappointed. ChatGPT made a mistake. It hallucinated. 
oh yeah, help me write that paper better. But I think I could do, you know, if I had more time, I could do a better job. And then, you know, this disappointment, it's overrated. There's no way the self-driving cars, I'm never going to buy one. I heard, you know, right. So you'll hear this disappointment and then bang, we hit this exponential point and then everything becomes amazing. So the exponential growth at first seems to be slower than the rate of linear growth. But once it takes off, there's this disruptive, chaotic development where everyone is in total amazement. To watch the full forecast webinar and gain in-depth astrological insights on global markets, key economic events, and investment strategies, go to williamstickevers.com and register for the regular quarterly financial astrology forecasts today.